How's it going folks, Sean Lawless here and welcome back to Going In. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about some of the beautiful locations that we get to shoot at here doing uh, porn and whatnot, which as you can see today, is pretty sweet. Um, you know, we're on the 57th floor here in downtown Miami, a nice two-story penthouse, and uh, you know, being in porn, we get to enjoy some of these locations just for the day, but um, you know, it's better than nothing. So the view speaks for itself. You guys see it's pretty amazing. So why don't we go ahead and go inside and we'll show you guys the location and oh, we got a naked girl. So let's try not to show that, but uh, the girl's going into makeup and wardrobe right now. But let's check out the place. Right now we're just prepping and getting everything ready. She's going through wardrobe again. Still setting up the the area where the, the scene is going to be filmed. Pretty nice two-story penthouse. Not too shabby. So we're going to show you another location that we're here at today. And that right there is called the HMI. And we're running that shine light into the living room where we're going to be shooting. And of course it's a very nice sunny day. You think maybe you don't need that kind of light. But what we're always doing is fighting light. So whenever we are booking a location, the main thing that we're looking for is sources of light. So there's three windows from the outside as well as a door that is fully glass right behind you. So it allows a lot of light in so that during the day we could shoot it all day long without needing too much production light. But as the sun sets, you need to compensate for that. So we implement, uh, they call it an HMI. It's a high powered light that pretty much substitutes for the sun. And as we go inside here, <clears throat> you'll see that we have three more lights set up. So the, the scene that we're shooting today requires a ton of light. We're pretty much going to drown it out with with, uh, with light. They call it blowing it out. This is a pretty nice location. We've shot here a, a few times prior. And um, again, we use this place because of the ample light that it lets in. You know, it, it allows us to really work with the scenario that we have. And there's another light right there behind you as well. So you see all our light is pretty much shining into this area where the scene and the sex is going to happen. And you can see the, uh, you know, the HMI is really shining in, oh, pretty much giving the appearance that the sun is coming in through, through the window right there, even though it's not. So how do you use your house as a location? It's pretty simple. You either have to live in Florida, Nevada, or California. And if you do live in those areas, you gotta live in the particular areas where porn is shot. And if you do that, then you gotta go online and look for you know, location scouts, people who are trying to, to rent out locations for an adult production. So another question I get asked a lot is how much goes into it in terms of monetary value? Well, if you rent out your house for the day, that really depends. Again, it goes back to whether you live in Nevada, uh, California, or Florida. But here in Miami, typically the budget for a location runs between five to three hundred dollars for the day. So if you want to make some extra cash, that's a great way to do it. And we typically do ask people to vacate the premises while we shoot because uh, you get some, you know, some looky loos or some peeping toms. You're looking through the blinds trying to catch a peek, which Sometimes that's okay, and sometimes you know the, the female talent doesn't appreciate that. But either way, uh, yeah, if you wanted to make 300, 500 bucks in Miami, or I've seen budgets out in California and LA where you know it's a thousand dollars a day that people rent out their house to shoot a porno. So a great way to make extra cash. Another reason we use this particular house or any house for that matter, aside from all of the natural light that we get coming in, is the options of rooms that we have. So. Producers and directors are always looking for options and availability to shoot various types of scenes. So, yeah, we've shot in this house a few times again because of the light and because there's one, two, three bedrooms as well as the living room out front that have a ton of light. So if you're ever, you know, interested in renting out your house, just know that what they have in mind is light and room options because they're always looking for new locations. I mean, we pretty much shoot at a new location damn near every day and that location can be a house it could be a warehouse it could be an office the desert the beach a park it doesn't matter i mean you, if, if you guys watch a lot of porn you'll see that they shoot porn absolutely anywhere so <clears throat> with that said i'm gonna head out i gotta go and check on the girl out back and i think they need me so i'll be back
Here's today's location. It's this big mansion, basketball court, and it's been converted into a frat house. <laughs> Huge. We just shot the scene right out here next to the pool. Beautiful day, nice background, backdrop. Some of the lights are still set up. We're just breaking down. Some of the intro took uh, place over there on the basketball court. pool so that we didn't have to shoot inside the uh, inside the house so when you rent out a house like this for a porn set it's pretty much uh, an all-day thing so when you sign your your location release and your contract uh, most times the people are asked to vacate the premises and you know kind of give us our space while we work today was kind of funny because you know it is a frat house and we were kind of in a in a fun mood or whatever we let the whole <laughs> We had the whole uh, frat watch and whatnot, and there were, you know, they had some girls over too, so that was kind of funny. But yeah, you could you could rent out your house in a house like this, even though it is huge and whatnot. Um, this house is uh, we pay them 400 bucks for the day. So not all locations are rented out just for the day. Some locations are owned by specific companies, and by owning them, that affords them essentially unlimited privacy. So as you see, quite a bit is going on here. We're setting up now for a couple different shoots. So as I drive around the lot of this house here, you see the uh, the room in which we have to work with so that nobody bothers us, there's no sound interference, and you can shoot multiple scenes all in the same day. So that definitely helps and uh, you know is advantageous to shooting you know, at a private residence in which the company owns. So as you see here, this room is already set up and ready to go to shoot a scene. And we'll pan over and you see plenty of people walking around. These are producers, directors, PAs, audio guys, you name it. Extras. And then we'll walk over into here. This was a previously used set. As you see, all those chairs and whatnot, those are set dressings so that they can change the set on the fly if need be. As we make our way out back, you see the proverbial pool and jacuzzi. And notice, no neighbors. Unlimited privacy. Also here in Miami, we don't need to pull permits for production, so we can shoot all day, every day, without needing to go to the city to, you know, ask to shoot where we are. 